Um, can you quickly bring us up to speed as to what's happening um, now in the state um, as to the jailbreak? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it was um, uh, it was an unfortunate situation. Uh, there was an intel uh, before the attack uh, was carried out, and that led to beefing up security around the correctional center at Kaba. Uh, we had soldiers there and also mobile policemen, and that was why they were able to repel the uh, the attackers. Uh, and that that. Uh, led to a situation where we did not have too many casualties. Uh, we lost a soldier, unfortunately, and there are another mobile policemen. Uh, but uh, also the attackers uh, were seriously uh, attacked by the security f f agents around uh, the place. So uh, many of the many of the inmates uh, from the correctional center that escaped. I've been rearrested. Uh, I was briefed a couple of uh, minutes ago. Uh, we we have one more gate back to the correctional center now, and many are still coming even on their own. Uh, so that is the situation uh, right now. Great. Um, you obviously answered my second question because I was going to ask um, if you are on you know tra tracking and tracing um, these inmates, but you have already told us that you have been able to get most of them back. But um, you said that security persons were already told about, there was intel as to what was going to happen and you beefed up security. Uh, could it be that the security that you beefed up or the men that you sent to the correctional facility were not enough to repel these people uh, as to, for, for the jailbreak to even take place? Because if they were able to repel them, they couldn't have even been able to get into the jail cells in the first place. Yeah, the, the, this uh, intel, uh, are always very uh, limited in terms of the information uh, they give you. You don't even know where they are going to attack. Uh, there was an intel that they were going to attack places like Kaba and other uh, places uh, in the state. So uh, we, we, we beefed security uh, because we have uh, soldiers there and we have mobile policemen there. But the attack was a very uh, a highly coordinated one uh, and it was a very uh, serious uh, attack. Uh, so it, it, I think they were unable to uh, stop them from attacking uh, the correctional center, but they reacted uh, very swiftly because of the robust uh, security, security architecture that we have in the state. And because also the governor gave the matching order uh, to the state security advisor to ensure that immediately the security uh, agents were uh, mobilized to support those on ground there. Uh, to be able to ensure that uh, we record uh, less casualty. We are able to achieve that uh, largely because of um, the security network uh, in the state, not just the conventional security agents alone, uh, but the hunters, uh, the local vigilante and all of that, were able to track uh, the inmates to be able to bring them back. And also the, uh, the attackers uh, went with uh, very serious uh, gun wounds. Uh, we know that many of them will be arrested soon. We have already uh, made clear to uh, health institutions and uh, not to treat people with gun, uh, gun, gun wounds until they get clearance from uh, security agents. So we are tracking them and we are very sure Hogi is not a place you can come to do uh, such a thing. We are tracking them and in a couple uh, of days we are going to apprehend them and bring them to justice. I'm curious, and I, and I know that you may not be the, you may not have as much information as the person who runs the correctional um, facility, but who are the people who um, are in the custody of this correctional facility? And why, would, why do you think that s such heavily armed gunmen would want to make a hit on that correctional institute? What exactly do you think that they were after? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it is um, on record that very high profile criminals are uh, uh, in that uh, correctional center. Uh, some of them uh, are bandits, some of them uh, 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 Boko Haram uh, 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 people that were arrested. Some of them are standing trial. Some of them have been convicted. Uh, so uh, it, it is most likely uh, that it is this organized uh, 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 criminals with very uh, serious network uh, globally uh, that, have, that have been able to come there to wreak this kind of havoc on that correctional uh, center. Uh, it is, it is uh, uh, too early to go into conclusions but we know that they definitely uh, came there uh, to rescue uh, some of their colleagues.
Uh, has there been any such similar case in um, Kaba or even in Kogiste before now, or is this the first of its kind? And what's, um, who's to say that this might not be a test case and they, that they might want to come back? Um, and what measures is the government putting in place to make sure that that never ever happens? Uh, this, this is not, uh, it happened uh, a couple of years ago uh, at Kotonkarufi, uh, the Kotonkarufi uh, Correctional Centre. Uh, you know, and uh, when you look at it, it's, it's about a national issue now because a couple of months ago we witnessed the same uh, at Imo, uh, in Imo states, and now we are witnessing it also in Kaba. So it shows that the federal government will have to uh, do more to strengthen security around their own agencies uh, so that they will not be uh, vulnerable to this kind of attacks. And when we have this kind of attacks, they should be able to have uh, enough security on ground to be able to repel it. And uh, we, as a state, we, as a state, we were able to uh, muster a lot of security strength uh, to be able to uh, keep this at bay. But, you know, it is a federal government institution and we expect that the federal government will be able to do more. Our intervention uh, was to support the federal government and also to ensure that our people are not uh, caught in the crossfire. So we will continue to support them, but they have to play uh, the leading role in ensuring that all correctional centers uh, across the country, these are things that have been happening. They have seen it in Nimo a couple of months ago, and that is the right signal uh, to the federal government to ensure that these centers are, are seriously secured. Uh, Kingsley Fawo is the Honorable Commissioner for Information, Kogi State. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you very much. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.